Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, but I am officially back from my trip. Um, those of you that don't know, I was in Amsterdam and then from there I went to Brussels for Tomorrowland. So I am officially back. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but I actually got sick on my flight back home. I'm feeling a lot better now, but I'm just really, really congested. I wanted to kind of sit down with you guys today and do like a little recap of very casual like chit chat recap on where I've been. Oh, and I just got my nails done. These are my birthday nails because my birthday's coming up really, really fast. I honestly can't even believe it. I was so sick for like a couple days and then when I woke up and like finally felt better, it was August. <laughs> like, hello. It is my birthday season, my birthday month. Um, happy birthday to all my Leos out there. But because of everything that's been going on, like, I haven't really been in the mood, like I don't feel the Leo energy yet. I already feel a lot better with these nails on. I really think red, like long red nails are like my favorite. I just feel so good when my nails are, I wish they were a little bit longer, but I don't want them to break and they can look a little too scary, especially with this red color on. So I'm finally starting to feel a bit more settled, I guess. Oh my gosh, they also lost my luggage, you guys, on my way back. So that was a first. I will say those air tags were really, really helpful, but they're not like the ultimate solution. The air tags just kind of gave me an idea on where my luggage was or what country it was in. So I did vlog a bit on this trip, but I went with a really, really big group. I was never pretty much like alone, so I couldn't really like talk to you guys and like start vlogging everything. And because it was kind of like a party trip, you know, like I went to Tomorrowland all three days. So it was a lot, like it was very overwhelming. It, there was just too much partying, like not enough food, not enough sleep, not enough water. Like I've never felt that dehydrated in my life. No matter how much water I drank, maybe it's the altitude, I don't know. Like, is it that high up, like Brussels? I'm acting as if I like went on a hike or something. My mouth just felt so like sandpaper dry. It was the weirdest thing. So I think all of that combined, my immune system was probably not at its best. So in terms of the actual vlog from the trip, I know I have some footage from early on in the trip when I felt more alive. So I thought, why not do it with you guys right now? I could maybe do like a casual, like a recap, like a rundown of my trip, kind of explain to you guys like what I did and then insert some clips here. So in a nutshell, I landed in Amsterdam, which was my very first time there. Amsterdam was so, so peaceful. It was beautiful, like all the architecture, like the colors were so vibrant. Everyone was so nice and you can just really tell that they were happy. It was one of the safest cities that I've ever been to. Like you could just feel it when you were walking around. Everyone's on their bikes. It's a very like, it felt very healthy and like very wholesome. It was so clean. It was almost like Tokyo, like Japan clean. So while I was there, I stayed at Conservatorium Hotel, which was really nice. The room I stayed in was like a loft kind of style. So there was like a staircase to the bedroom area. Bathroom was nice and all new, clean. Um, I think I heard the hotel is kind of like Japanese style um, inspired like beautiful furniture, like decor, like everything the breakfast was nice I think I had like five different kinds of peaches which like I love I did try to do a little bit of shopping but there was a line outside Hermes and I was like no <laughs> and then there was some like construction going on. I did go into Chanel. I honestly wasn't like planning on buying anything from Chanel. Oh, I did try to look for those um, pink sunglasses, but the vibes were kind of off with my essay that I got. I was really tired. I had just like landed in Amsterdam. It was just not meant to be. So I just walked out. And then later that day, we went to this like rooftop bar. I think it was called Luminaire, like good cocktails. Um, You could see like the entire Amsterdam. Very, very nice, peaceful. And then for dinner, we went to, it was a very cool restaurant. It was a seafood restaurant. You go in, there's no set menu. It was so fun. So there's like a whole fish market right in front of you. And you just basically order like whatever is available, whatever you want. And then you go to the wine market. Um, you choose the wine and then you get seated. And then they like prepare all the food for you and like come out with it. It was just 
very fun experience the food was good you could really tell how like fresh all the ingredients were and then the next day we just like walked around a bit more um explore the city and then we took the train from there to brussels because you know we gotta go to tomorrowland and that's when i realized even more like how safe clean and just very peaceful Amsterdam was Brussels just felt like another like major city I really didn't get to explore the city too much I don't want to mention like the actual name of the hotel but it's a five-star hotel but it was not a five-star service I had to switch rooms twice the staff was like really really rude there were a lot of like instances that were just kind of like oh like i will not be returning that kind of thing there was one restaurant it was a french restaurant that i went to or i guess like belgian uh restaurant i went to where the food was so so good you guys within like 10 to 15 minute walking distance from the ferris wheel in brussels i hope you guys know um what i'm talking about i think it was beef stew on top of a toast and then on the toast had like some mustard on it it was so good so good not just this restaurant but like belgium as a whole or maybe just europe in general like they know how to fry food you guys like it's so crispy everything was just so like well fried it was so delicious and when i went there all the workers had this little pin on their apron um, that said 100 years so they were celebrating um, their 100 year anniversary so this is a very very popular spot among the locals and now onto the actual Tomorrowland itself um, first of all the weather was perfect as in it did not rain at all I have been to a lot of different like music festivals across the country really like in different states and stuff but the production level of Tomorrowland is truly like next level i mean first of all they had like 16 or 17 different stages which is just like crazy it's not like coachella where everyone's just like out in the desert and like there's nothing else but like you know art and like stages this is like actual like disneyland kind of thing and there were so many surprise guests one of which being vin diesel like of all people i like totally freaked out because i love vin diesel and that was not someone i would have ever expected you know at tomorrowland or any music festival so that was really funny but i did enjoy my 90 seconds of seeing him on the screen it was just hilarious but generally it was kind of like overcast but it would like fluctuate a lot so the pictures didn't look so good <laughs> of the stage i was mainly at the main stage oh yeah one of the tables like the sky bar area upstairs they had this mini wine shop so you can just order um wine to like ship it back or um some champagne to like bring to your table so like that was really fun and once tomorrowland was finished there was one thing left on my itinerary i mean this was pretty much like the only thing that was on my radar and it was to go to the br center one thing i did book was this facial because you guys know how much i love this brand and the last time i went to like an actual br center and did like the whole skin analysis and was put into the system in a way um was back in february in paris so when i found out that they have a um, br center like really close to my hotel in brussels i wasn't gonna go home without checking it out so i did but honestly right after the facial i got sick so i feel like my skin just isn't really seeing the results um but after the facial i did pick up quite a lot of products this time we are i also picked up a few more things but those are not for me so not important but they did give me these cosmetic pouches which honestly pretty nice actually it's a very very nice like supple leather it has a very subtle logo right here it's honestly like pretty good quality i was very surprised but the best part samples you guys these are the best i still haven't opened them because i wanted to open them with you guys this was like pretty much the main thing that i wanted oh and more toothpaste and one of you guys actually asked me like which one um of these toothpaste is my favorite and i did say whitening mint which is this and then i saw this this time this i'm thinking is like an upgrade from the whitening mint because this one is called smoker's whitening mint 
Like, doesn't that sound really intense? Have you guys tried this before? Like, is this a lot better than the whitening mint? Am I gonna see some like better results with this? I'm excited. First of all, the actual PR center um, in Brussels, so beautiful, you guys. Really, really similar to the one in Paris. I started the facial with the skin, I think it's called like skin instant, like that analysis. And the hydration level, you guys, it was so so bad but i explained that you know i'm traveling i had just gone to tomorrowland for three days so that was kind of expected and my skin did feel dry to begin with but everything else has improved i honestly didn't expect but i was so happy to like see those results i mean i have been putting a lot of like time and effort and really like money into my skincare it felt very rewarding like i'm on the right path i'm doing something right my skin barrier was good which was another thing that was really really poor at the time skin elasticity sebum production fine lines wrinkles like those were always good yeah so overall everything was good and it was just hydration so i was like really like Thank you. But that only meant that I had to keep doing all the stuff that I'm doing for my skin. <sighs> so the only way to go about that is buy more products, right? No, I'm just kidding. But I did get some things that I wanted to get and also some of the things that were recommended to me um, after the skin analysis. So the first one is their SPF and I already have the SPF 50. So this time I really wanted to pick up the 25 because I want to compare the two in case like the 50 is a little bit too thick. And last time I heard you still can't get this in the States. So this was like my number one priority. And then you guys know how much I love this hand lotion. I don't ever want to be without it. So I just decided to pick it up because the prices are still a lot better um, in Europe, especially for biology. So I got the emulsion something something mon <laughs> for your hands. Best hand lotion ever. And then, oh my gosh, this one. This I wanted for a very long time. I tested this out in BR Singapore, that one BR store in Marina Bay Sands. I just tested this out and I was like, whoa, I need this so badly. This is a body oil spray. Let's spray it. Please don't spray. Oh my god. Okay, that was a lot. So it comes like this. You guys, this feels so, so nice on the skin. Um, I... I wish I could like bathe in it, you know what I mean? I'm just so glad to like finally have it and once I finish this, I really want to venture out like into more of their body line and also hair care. Oh, and then I did pick up their makeup again. This one is Tinted Moisturizer. Basically their foundation, protector and perfecter tinted skincare. They have an okay range of shades. Um, they have Half of them is cool tone base and then the other half is warm tone. I went with number two from the warm tone and when I tried it on my neck, I couldn't even see anything. So I thought that was a good indicator. Even though the machine said number one, like recommended number one to me, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> and also I was not wearing any makeup. So like my base skin might seem light, but I got to match the rest of my body. So. I decided to just go with number two. Wow, so fresh, look. I love that it has a pump, you guys. So, so nice. Um, glass jar, I'm excited to try this out, but I have been using the Chanel foundation a lot, but BR is just something that I like for their skincare um, aspect. You just know you're putting something good on your skin. Um, so why not do that with makeup, you know? Unfortunately, however, it doesn't have any SPF, which I think is kind of a bummer. So you do have to put on sunscreen and then this. The next one is something that they recommended to me twice already. I've been trying to ignore, but this was the second time that was recommended. New formula. Hmm. It's basically their eye cream, the contour eye cream, VIP02. And the only eye cream I really like and only use is from Asian Nature. So I wanted to try this and see like how I like it in comparison to that because that one's very, very glowy and sometimes I don't want it to like be too glowy. I like the way it's shaped, like the applicator. So it looks like this, long and skinny, very nice. So like scientific, you know? It has that metal applicator. So I feel like it's gonna be very cooling on the eyes and just really easy to use. And then the last two items are from the Biofit Scene line. And you guys, honestly, like next time I go to BR, 
I mean, I already have like a pretty good idea of how much each product is, but because there's so many products in the line, sometimes I don't know because some masks can be like a hundred dollars, like 80 something, like Mask Vivon, and then there's like Vizalatine and this guy that goes up to like 300. So I didn't realize how I'm fixing was that expensive until at checkout. Like, I need to start checking for the prices. I need to start asking because this was like a shocker. I looked up the prices when I got home and I was like, what? <laughs> but Biofixine is like an anti-aging line. So they recommended the facial mask and also the face cream. <laughs> Honestly, I asked for a moisturizer that I could just use on a day-to-day -day basis, like during the day. Am I gonna put this cream on as a day-to-day, -day, like $300 cream? I mean, I do use a lot of like expensive creams, but those are at nighttime, like during the day. I don't know. I might have to like look for something else from VR, of course, because I know they have a lot of moisturizers that are just around like 100, 125 or something. And why can't I open this? Because you can't start here and then like go back down. You know what I mean? Like you have to like build it up. So for my skin, the analysis um, recommended Vivon and Vizalatine, which are my two favorites. Like literally, I don't really use VIP that much i probably should but visa latina and mask be gone like two of my favorites and that's what my skin needs ding 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 like i'm doing great so this was just kind of like an added bonus for anti-aging but yeah the price on this scary you know okay let's open the samples i'm almost done with all the samples i got oh my god i see something new i'm almost done with all the samples that i got in paris i also got back then like two baggies and they're just so good for travel especially like a weekend trip or you want to like try something new from the line something like that but honestly when it comes to like skincare skincare like the size of these um it's just not big enough to really know like what it feels like unless it's a mask i discovered the mask bio magic um through like one of the samples and that is next on my list i feel like it would be really good for like the t-zone pores and also neck because it's so tightening okay so let's see mask vipo2 oh my god mask biofixine creme biofixine okay perfect two things i already have lay vipo2 oh yeah this is the cleansing milk that i've been using for years and then you guys I really thought. Okay, so this is their newest serum, Progest Skin or something. So on my skin analysis, what they recommended was Amniotique, which is what I'm using already because it's just good for like foundational hydration. Collagen Serum, which is a blue one. I really, really love that one. I had like a baby size of it, but it's really expensive. So I'm trying to hold off on it. The last serum that they recommended was this, the newest one. I mean, I'm sure there's like some like marketing involved, like trying to push like the new thing. I remember telling them I would like to try a small sample of it because I remember looking up the price like before going there um, when it first launched and I was like, yep, definitely an expensive serum. So when they gave me that recommendation, I was like, can I just try a baby size, you know? And then when I came home and I like unpacked everything, I was like, I never got that serum. So maybe they just forgot and I never got charged for it. Here it is. <laughs> I'm glad I at least have this now because I've been kind of wanting it. You know, I wanted to like really try it. Let's open the other sample back. Okay, yeah, this looks more like it. I really thought that was a sample. Like, who do I think I am? <laughs> Biomagic, yes. Oh my God, two. Oh yeah, this was another thing that um, I purchased, but it, it wasn't for me. So I'm not showing it to you guys. The Emulsion Gel Biosensible SR. Um, the SR line is Lay SR again. Like usually they're not really for my skin. Gel Mask Vivant, oh my gosh. A sample size, perfect. So that's everything you guys. I know this isn't like, the normal type of vlog that I usually do, but 
please bear with me while I get situated and just settled in. As I mentioned earlier, my birthday is coming up, so I am actually going somewhere, so you will see another pack with me video very, very soon. So I'll see you guys in that video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye!